Um, there are multiple uh, control frameworks, but one of the few which are being extensively covered in the IIA course is COSO framework. Um, if you remember in the in the previous uh, sessions, we discussed about COSO ERM framework. And today we will be talking about COSO integrated con controls, integrated framework. Um, it defines the control uh, definition, uh, what is uh, internal control. It basically the, uh, the action taken by the management and the board in order to ensure that the risks are managed effectively and provide reasonable assurance on the achievement of organizational objectives in terms of operations, reporting, and compliance, that all these activities are being managed properly. Uh, what are the COSO controls objectives? Uh, you can remember these objectives by acronym OCR, which means uh, or ORC, whichever order you use. Uh, all re refer to operations, um, C refers to compliance, and R refers to reporting. That we have to ensure that we have uh, um, enough controls where we achieve our financial performance or financial objectives we um, we drive our productivity quality we ensure innovation and customer satisfaction so these are the elements where we have to have strong controls uh, in terms of compliance our controls should adhere to all the laws regulation policies guidelines in terms of uh, reporting our controls should enable us to receive or to transmit uh, the information in a timely manner in a secure manner and be and it has to be in a uh, transparently in being um, provided all the information and and on a timely basis and concise obviously COSO component for internal controls can be remembered through an acronym uh, as CRIME, which means that what are the key component of uh, internal controls. So control activities are like what are the key controls which are defined within any uh, transactions or an activity. So those controls could be defined. Then we have to carry out the risk assessment that these controls are effective enough to manage those risks. Information and communication is one of the key element of the good control um, framework that it is it is being timely uh, provided monitoring and uh, the control environment so monitoring means that we have to ongoing keep on ensuring that all the controls are effectively working the risks are being managed properly and as the environment change we we change our controls and we monitor our risk as well um, because demographic risk could also change over the period of time and control Whole environment overall means that the organization have uh, a ton from the top and the organization structured in a more efficient manner. Um, they have policies and procedures. People are aware, trainings are being provided, job description is there. So this is all part of the uh, control environment. This is the graphical presentation of COSO um, control framework. Uh, here you can see that uh, all the key element of the control, uh, the component of the internal control, uh, control environment, risk control activities, information and communication and monitoring activities are defined. Um, and it reflects that this all activity are performed uh, to achieve the control objectives, which are operations, reporting and compliance, that these three areas are, are effectively working and we are we are ensuring all the risks are being managed and this happened across the organization so you can see the third side of the cube that where it says entity level divisional operational and functional means these controls are um, being integrated and and flow within the organization from top to bottom and bottom to up so this is a uh, this is a very beautiful diagram which shows um, what we have discussed in the earlier uh, slide. 
uh, again here just to quickly go through what is control environment so in control environment is basically um, the overall um, behavior and the action taken by the top management uh, in regards to the control environment uh, be it in terms of composition of the board, establishing of the uh, different committees to focus on certain area of the businesses by the board members, um, reporting line to establish reporting line to establish role and responsibility, uh, to review their performance, um, to set benchmark uh, standards uh, in terms of policies and procedures, uh, KPIs, KRIs, and to assess what uh, whether individuals are are um, complying with those standards or not so this is all part of the control environment risk assessment when we talk about the risk assessment which we also covered in the last um, sessions risk assessment uh, has a, a process in which we identify the risk we assess the risk we try to um, manage the risk we prioritize the risk uh, so this whole activity of risk management uh, encompasses and this is also one of the key element of the control environment um, control activities are basically how we manage those risks through technological through uh, automated controls through manual controls through compensatory controls through detective controls you know there are different ways how you can manage those risks uh, lastly the information and communication <clears throat> it is about that how effectively and timely um, and in the best possible manner we are um, circulating the information or receiving the information or synthesizing or processing th that information information flow within the organization like a blood so if you have a good control over the information there is less likelihood that any adverse event can happen because uh, if there is a good culture within the organization and the the bad news flows uh, faster than the good news so the action will be prompt right so it's, it's similar to the to the human body that if the if the, if the blood circulation is smooth there is uh, uh, the body is more strong to to take um, uh, to, to resist against any adverse internal and external virus but if there is a problem in the circulation and the work when the, when the, the blood doesn't circulate to the valves to the heart then even uh, in it can happen right similar to the similar to that within the organization in Information plays a very vital role. Uh, monitoring and uh, monitoring activities is basically that we have to keep on monitoring the controls, the risks, um, the overall structure within the organization. Uh, this is very much important because uh, now we are working these days in a very dynamic organization. Everything is linked to another thing. We uh, the companies are. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, affected by their competitors, by their political interference, there is uh, so there is a lot of factors that affect the organization. So therefore, we have to keep on monitoring. So this is overall and a key summary of what uh, what constitute the COSO control uh, framework.